Lots of talk about the NHS and social care in the budget, of course, and figures out this morning are expected to show the worst monthly performance in the NHS in 13 years. Yes, record numbers of patients spent more than four hours in England's A&E units in December, with the government accused of failing to grasp the seriousness of the situation. Sky's Sarah Hadjibagheri reports. Overstretched and understaffed, our treasured National Health Service is in a critical condition this winter. December's statistics were the worst on record. The Red Cross even described it as a humanitarian crisis. And there are fears January's numbers out today may be even worse. Staff in A&E are run off their feet as more patients are heading through their doors than ever before. There's been a 4% rise in just a year. And the country's population is older, frailer and has more complex medical problems with a social care system that's struggling to keep up. How are you feeling today? Derek used to have regular lengthy stays in hospital for intravenous antibiotics, but he's now treated at home by a visiting nurse. It lightens the burden on him personally and the hospital. So I used to say to one of the nurses, I'm taking a bit. No, Derek, you've got to be here. You still need that drug, so, you know, don't worry about it. But I did a little bit because just taking a bed up. Just sat there waiting for three, for three injections a day, plus... When you're in there, you can catch other infections. I mean, I, 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 when I was in 21 days, I caught diarrhoea and sickness off other patients. It was terrible. Two years ago, Sherwood Forest Hospital Trust was the second worst in the country. But a series of community support schemes has eased the strain on beds. They're now amongst the top 10 performers nationally. It's an approach that starts on the end of the phone. Do you know how long you've been on the floor for? at this call centre in Mansfield, which assesses whether a patient needs hospital treatment. It's important for the patients because actually if they don't need to be in hospital, then they shouldn't be in hospital. And actually patients get better quicker within their own home environment rather than being in, in busy emergency departments and hospitals when they don't need to be there. But you don't have to travel far, just down the road at the community centre, to find patients who feel their services are being cut. It could do with the damn sight a bit more money and probably more doctors and nurses. I had to cancel an appointment for February and the next time they can get me in to see a consultant is the end of August. Not enough funding, cuts are being done on the NHS and it's just going to get worse. The numbers reflect the scene on the ground and the prognosis for the NHS isn't looking healthy. Sarah Hedrigari, Sky News. Well, a real insight there into the uh, pressures facing the NHS. Uh, Sky's correspondent Becky Johnson joins us now from the A&E unit of Kingsmill Hospital in Sutton in Ashfield. And where you are, the hospital is something of a, a success story, isn't it, Becky? Yeah, a couple of years ago, it was one of the worst performing trusts in, in terms of how long patients had to wait to be seen. Now, it's one of the best performing trusts. They've introduced a range of measures. Firstly, uh, when patients come through the door here in A&E, they're triaged really quickly so that they can quickly establish who actually needs to be in hospital and who could go home. Also, as soon as patients are admitted, the process starts of possibly trying to find a place in a care home for when they're ready to go home. Now, that's different to other hospitals where that process only starts when the patient's ready to be discharged of course that can take two or three days and that's a bed that could have been available to other patients uh, also here they've got that team of nurses that you saw in Sarah's report out in the community now they're working with elderly people who can't really manage on their own at home but don't need to be uh, in a bed in a hospital like this so that frees that bed now all this being said they still tell me here that this winter has been the busiest on record for them and January was even busier than December so you know you heard in Sarah's report uh, December's figures were the worst yet for the NHS we're expecting these latest figures the January figures which will be released later this morning to paint an even bleaker picture of the crisis facing the NHS Indeed. Thanks very much, Becky.